Hey and welcome back to uh, sunny Exeter. Uh, you may be forgiven for thinking that I'm in exactly the same room but I assure you I'm two floors up in a totally different area of the hotel. It's just everything looks identical here uh, which is a bit like Groundhog Day coming back I'll be honest. That said we've got our act together a bit from last week. There's a couple of other guys that I'm working with at the moment kind of similar interests They've all brought their mountain bikes uh, and I'm going to go and join them. I've brought my bike up uh, and we're going to um, some local woods. They've got some trails in, apparently I'm all set up for mountain biking. So it um, should be fun. I mean, what could possibly go wrong going to some woods with two blokes I've never haven't met before? Um, I'm sure it'll be fine. <laughs> Man, that was awesome. Um, it's a bit different from those little trails I do around um, the local Moors Valley with the kids uh, while I just potter around. That, um, I hope it kind of comes across on the camera because uh, that was really quick and um, I struggle to keep up with those guys at times, but it was really good fun. Um, I need to go and get changed very quickly because we're meeting for dinner. Um, speaking of uh, uh, refueling, hey, how good is this link? Um, I saw something there about uh, Shell. Obviously, we know that they're going to start uh, introducing um, charge or chargers within their petrol stations, but um, they started announcing pricing and a bit more about it today. So um, a few things on that, but uh, I'm going to go and eat first, and I think I deserve a massive plate of chips. <laughs> oh, there you go. It doesn't get any better than that. Yeah, I've had to work today, but um, brilliant bike ride, some great food. Some uh, even better company, uh, some of which people I've never met before. Really, really nice guys and, um, and a pint to finish it all off. So it, um, it's been pretty good. In a way, I feel a little bit guilty because obviously, you know, it's quite difficult for Sarah at home on her own with the kids, uh, trying to sort everything out for them. And I'm, you know, it would appear just in a hotel enjoying life. So um, I do feel a little bit guilty, but there is nothing I can do. I've kind of got to take the... Um, the attitude, well, I'm here, I'm here for what I need to do during the day. Um, you know, I'm not out lording it up, spending loads of money. I'm just having a, you know, a decent time, making the best of it. And, um, you know, surely that's got to be better than just sitting in this room, moping about, worrying about what's going on at home. I can't change that. Uh, I can give them all the support I can, but um, ultimately, kind of, you've, you've just got to get on with it. So, um, uh, hopefully she won't watch this and it'll be fine. I won't have to pay for that at the weekend. But, um, Either way, a cracking day. Uh, it's great to get out on the bike. I haven't been out like that for ages. All I ever do on it really now is potter around following the kids around. And they're great. They go at a reasonable pace, but um, it's not the same as that. That was really, really good.
Um, but there we go. So what I want to kind of just touch on today was um, the fact that Shell have just announced that they are going to uh, uh, roll out or, or open their very first station that's purely dedicated to EVs. So it's not going to be on the side of um, you know where the pe petrol pumps are. This is going to be a purpose-built EV charging station, and hopefully the kind of the, the conveniences that go with it. We'll see what happens. Um, now I'm kind of swaying both ways with this. On the one side, this is brilliant. We talk about this kind of tipping point of you know acceptance of EVs, and this is like a, this is a big step towards it. This is about uh, big brand petrol companies showing that they are fully supporting it and as a result you know, people that drive ice cars are going to see what's going on and take note and see that you know, this is the norm this is something that they can um, they can kind of associate their current driving habits with and perhaps then they'll start looking at EVs and perhaps then they'll change so that's great but they're talking about the price for it being 49p per kilowatt hour now that's that's not cheap uh, you know, electricity isn't that expensive. That said, this is going to be a big investment. They can't just open these stations and not expect to have to spend. You know, these rapid charges are tens and tens of thousands of pounds. So they obviously they need to recoup that somehow. And for the convenience, great. That's fine. You know, I, I'm all for it. So, you know, it's really positive as far as I'm concerned for the most part. But just out of interest, what I did do was uh, do a quick comparison. So, uh, if you follow my vlog, you'll know at the weekend I went to IKEA, used an Ecotricity charger. Um, now, yes, I did get that money back through IKEA, but that's a side issue. Ecotricity chargers are three pound connection and then I think it's 17p per kilowatt hour. That's standard throughout the country. So while I was there, um, I put 10.8 kilowatt hours in the car. Not a massive amount, but you know, not too bad. Uh, that cost me four pound 84, bearing in mind I had to pay that three pound connection charge. If I had gone to Shell on the 49p per kilowatt hour um, tariff, that would have cost me uh, £5.29. So, you know, that's a reasonable difference, even for, uh, you know, a relatively small charge. That wasn't particularly big at all. Um, it's expensive. So I think, you know, home charging is definitely the way forward. That's what, that's where for the majority of us, and I think early adopters, we've adopted it because the convenience of home charging, um, because we've had somewhere to put the charger. I think if you live in a flat or you don't have access to a home charger, I don't think this is gonna convince you that it's cheaper to, to switch to an EV. So I think there's a bit more work that needs to be done around that, and I'm sure the prices will drop. drop. I hope they will anyway, and I'm sure hopefully there'll be some more options um, they're also talking about, and this is again one of my big gripes, it's not just a case of turn up and use your credit card, there's an app to use. So, okay, they don't charge you to connect, but you need to download an app and pay through the app. It just makes it a bit more complicated. You know, you can go to service stations and pay at the pump with your credit card. Why do you need to do it with an EV? Um, I'm yet to hear a reason why you have to do it. I'm sure there is somewhere, but yeah, it's beyond me. Um, I don't know. It's, it's a real shame because um, what we need is convenience and ease mixed with reasonable prices. So we'll see how it pans out. You know, it's very positive. It's great. Uh, we just we just need something else to push that infrastructure to get those people that currently don't have access to home chargers to really think about making that switch. But there we are. We'll see how things pan out. But for now. Um, all that exercise and all that food, all I want to do, to be honest now, is stick the telly on and curl up in the bed. So I, I, that's what I'm going to do. If you've enjoyed today's vlog, remember to like and share it. And if you're not doing so already, subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you again soon. Take care. Are you kidding? Yeah.